Okay, D12. Let's me create files. D12. D11. It's actually D12, like this. 12, 12. Parse, I don't know. Probably not gonna need this. Or we will copy it from somewhere. And here as well. And 12 is here as well. Okay, uh, day 12. Yes. Okay, don't work. But uh, who knows? Maybe example will be small. Okay, we have day 12 set up. Uh, let's, well, maybe here we'll need it as well. Let's go and read the task. I hope it's not very long. Uh, fast finding, yay! Or, or not, I don't know. <sighs> maybe it's not fast finding. Okay, maybe. Time to turn on the lamp. No, I'm not in focus. Now I'm in focus. Okay. Uh, with submarine subterranean subsystem sub uh, optimally subsisting sub what submarine subterranean subsystem subsisting sub optionally oh my god the only way you're getting out of this cave uh anytime soon i like i like the small jokes and about and learning about new species of octopi yeah uh, you're going to get out of this cave anytime soon is by finding the path yourself not just a path the only way to know if you found the best path is to find all of them fortunately the sensors are still mostly working and so you build a rough map of remaining caves your puzzle in for example start a start b a c uh blah, 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 blah. this is a list of how all of the caves are connected you start in the cave named start and your destination is a cave named end and entry like b to d means that cave b is connected to cave d that is you can move between them so the above cave system looks roughly like this start a b go to c uh b to d and, and okay cool. your goal is to find the number of distinct paths that start at start and end and end and don't visit small caves more than once so we kind of need hmm. we kind of need to visit small case. Oh my god. Uh, uh, there are two types of case, big case written in uppercase like a and small caves written in lowercase like b it would be a waste of time to visit any small cave more than once but big caves are large enough that it might be worth visiting them multiple times so all paths you find should visit small caves at most once and can visit big caves any number of times okay cool given these rules there are 10 paths through this example cave system start a b a c a and mm -hmm. So if we, theoretically, if two big caves are connected directly, right, it's infinite amount of uh, paths, but hopefully it's uh, not. Each line above the above list corresponds to a single pass. The caves visited by that pass list in the order they are visited in the further caves. Not that in this cave system, cave D is never visited by any pass to do so, cave B uh, would need to be visited twice, once for on the way cave D and the uh, second time while returning from cave D. And since cave B is small, this is not allowed. Here is a slightly larger example. Okay. H N. It's like. Okay. So there might be multiple letters. If finally larger example. Yes. Yeah, so never uh, small to small is okay, but small to big to big is not okay. How many paths through this cave system are there that visit small caves at once? Okay, so we have few examples, right? Uh, we start with this. Okay, so we probably need multiple files to test. Let's say day 12, for example, one. Um, so this is day 12, for example, two. And this is day 12, for example, three. Okay. 
so far let's go example three and finally the our puzzle input is not that big actually okay mm -hmm. Okay, so um, this looks like not that hard. Like we are going to brute force this shit, probably, <laughs> right? Okay, um, let's let's brute force this shit. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> what else can you do, uh, realistically? Um, yeah, let's brute force this shit. I'm thinking. better maybe not unclear now my face is overcompensated because I have this actually something like this is even better Anyways, anyways, um, yeah, um, let's parse input first, right? And I think that our um, graph is going to be multi map. It's a map that uh, maps key to multiple keys, kind of. Uh, but anyways, we need to, we are going to need um, parse function, and which is basically in put and you say line through split input session. Actually, is it split? Yeah, there's split lines. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I should have thought about it before okay so for each line split lines we are going to say that let start and is re matches okay and now we need something like this um so it's a z plus kind of like this kind of like this line right this is our start and end and basically hmm, we need to create a map from it so entry is going to be uh, basically start and 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 start and we put it into uh, okay. uh no 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 oh no no this is no this is wrong you can't do that you you what you need to do is actually now that you have this you need to reduce uh, you start with a map and what you do is um, well you take accumulator uh, start and end right and what you do well actually we can skip this okay yeah well, um, we are going to take egg we're going to update start f nil conch uh, yeah it's conch and and the same the other way around uh, like 
like this and here we basically say input split lines map um, let next okay this is our parse method uh, let's parse example one Okay, so it's from start we can go to let me open this uh, to A or B. Uh, from A we can go to start B and C. From C to A, from A to C probably yes yes. Okay, looks okay. So this looks okay. Um, we probably need something like. Okay, seems to work, which is great. Did we introduce reflection anywhere? Yes, on line 33. Uh, this doesn't know. Well, maybe if we annotate this as string, it will get rid of reflection. No. Mm. Maybe this will get rid of reflection. It's just lots of. What? No, yeah, this now we're out of fluids. So when, if you know this is string, and if you use string method, uh, it knows it will produce a char and knows this expects a char. So all, all is good. Okay, so now we. Uh, we write some recursive algorithm. So now we need to write this uh, code that uh, selects like blocks different paths, right? And uh, the problem we will face is never go back to small caves and never um, we don't want to be on the same path that we already seen, right? 
maybe no maybe this is not a problem actually we, yeah yeah this this is probably not a problem we want go on the same path so so the only problem is <sighs> don't visit small caves twice uh so yeah but actually let's say paths um and maybe final res so res is going to be a set and it's going to be a set of paths right uh pass is going to be um a queue of unfinished pass and this is final a terminal okay so the only pass that we start with is this um Well, actually, pass first unfinished or peak finished, for example, right? If there is something, we do something. I don't know what yet, but uh, probably let something. Uh, the point is, if there is nothing, we exit. But if there is something, um, well, we can call last and last is peak path. So this is the last uh, node that we visit. Um, next <laughs> is basically we need a map somewhere, right? So let's say um again map is is there a synonym for for a word map okay plan plot chart 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 looks good okay <laughs> parse input so this doesn't change we don't, there is no need uh we basically would say chart um last well actually you know what if last equals end we recur with we don't go anywhere we recur with uh pop unfinished and conch terminal pass right but if we are not finished yet we take next um oh let's call it end actually so far yeah because last is also special word in code like it's function name and closure so we don't probably want that um so this are next now we need to filter next for visited small <laughs> so visited is basically set uh, filter small pass right this is the node that we have already remove visited like this um, this is where we can go and we basically what we do is recur um, into pop unfinished um, map next and the way we map it is basically we say conch pass percent right so and terminal stays all the same 
<laughs> okay, so what, which if do we need to close? I think this one, right? So yeah, this one, this one, yeah. Part one uh, on example one, okay. Uh, a, C, A, B, and, okay, so th this should be like 10 paths, right? A, B, A, C, and, is there a path like that? No. How, what? A, C, wait, what, start? A, C, A, B, and yeah, this should be like in here. A, C, A, B, and yeah, it's here. Uh, A, C, A, B, A, and yes. Uh, let's count, let's count. 10. Wow. 19. It's looks like we're in the right pass. <laughs> uh, 2 to 6. Uh, so unless, unless this doesn't work, um terminal like we say count okay uh, unless this works um very slowly we should be good five two five four okay five two five four boom <laughs> Okay, 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 not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward action and it's pretty straightforward. I, I'm glad it worked in reasonable amount of time actually because like the algorithm is clear, but if it were like working slowly, the only hard part would be it might work too slow, like map is too big or amount of variance is too big and in that case we will have to think but we don't have to think like yet okay after reviewing the available paths you realize you might have time to visit a single small cave twice specifically big caves can be visited any number of times a single small cave can be visited most twice as the remaining small caves can be visited at most once however however the caves named start and end cannot be visited directly once each. Once you leave the start cave, you may not return to it. And once you reach the end cave, the path must end immediately. Yeah, that's, that's reasonable. Okay, so now, okay, now 36 possible paths through the first example above are. Huh. Slightly larger example above now, how blah, 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 blah. Given the new rules, how many paths through the cave system are there? Okay, so this is basically the same task. Um, the only problem would be counting that visited small cave, right? Okay, yeah, so yeah, uh, so basically part two is exactly as part one with one difference. So we take this, we copy it here. Oops. Oops. Yeah, we copy it here. And the only difference that it makes is the way we calculate next for for given pass, right? Um, and yeah, let's say we write the function that does it uh, next. And we take chart and we take pass, right? So now, Okay, yeah, uh, so the way, so what, what we do is we call visited uh, frequencies uh, filter small pass, okay? Now there are two 
possibilities, right? If every whilst visited is uh, one, right? If every cave we visited, a uh, small cave we, we visited is actually just once, we just return chart la, uh, peak pass, last pass. Okay, but if one of them is visited twice, we what we do is we do the same uh, but then remove visited i think next uh, chart pass okay do we actually need um, and somewhere and is going to be this and we're actually going to be next going to be this So we first time we allow for one the same yeah yeah this should be self-explanatory okay uh part two example one 63 is this correct um no this is not correct we did do end on end right we always end on end first we never go to start. No, we might go to start twice actually. Let's just say we we don't make a path that goes to start ever back to start, right? Uh, when we parse. Oh, no, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let's see. Thirty six. Is this right? Yes, one of three. Okay, let's run part two. It is slow, but one four nine one slight. Oh, we, we didn't test other two examples. One or three, three five or nine, and one four nine three eight five. And that's the right answer. Ooh. Yep. Okay, that's the right answer. Uh, we did. Any bad reflection happening? No, I don't think so. Okay, main, uh, did we update main? Yes, let's commit and stage two, day 12. We do return what we need, right? Yeah. Let's call this next two. 
like this and I just want to make sure that uh -huh. next next yes that's that's why that's why I check um, let me commit year 2021 day 12 stage commit and that's it uh two days in one go thank you for watching uh let's look at our awesome picture it <laughs> doesn't look like anything to me yet we are halfway through exactly well, almost one half through it doesn't look like anything but i i i'm, I, I'm sure it will make sense in the end uh, thank you for watching. Uh, bye bye. See you next time.